stood to the stage, present CEO of Volvo Group. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you very much. Uh, so I just realized that uh, uh, the only thing that is holding you guys back from from lunch is actually this presentation. But fortunately, it's a very interesting presentation. So you, I think it's worthwhile spending some some time with us. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, it's great to uh, have the opportunity to give some perspective of where the Volvo Group is heading. Uh, I will do it rather briefly because the biggest interest, of course, is, is about what is happening in North America and what are we launching in terms of product, services, uptime, etc. But a little bit of perspective from my side on this is that uh, when we look uh, into our markets here in North America, obviously this is coming to our mind. We are proud of our Swedish heritage. Uh, obviously, when you're closing your eyes and thinking about one brand in the world, about safety, it is Volvo. It is Volvo that is standing for safety, a, a brand value that will be more important than ever when we are talking about the future technologies of electromobility, automation, connectivity, etc., building trust together. But also when it comes to environmental care, quality, and durability. But more importantly, we are a truly American brand today. We have been investing so many years here. We have a great team, all starting from our customer base that has put in a lot of trust into the Volvo brand, our dealers that are continuing to invest in the network, more than 700 million US dollars uh, over the last uh, years here. We are continuing to build presence, modern facilities, uh, up to certified uptime centers, uh, to, to really connect with our customers. And we are proud to say that not only that we are producing 100% of our trucks for North America in the United States, in Virginia, uh, in Maryland, in other places, uh, we are also having a full-fledged uh, uh, value chain when it comes to development, when it comes to sourcing, when it comes to uh, financing and all our different partners. Uh, we are actually, as we speak, and Peter will come back to that, executing our bis uh, biggest investment program ever in, in North America. And we will continue to do so for a number of years. And the reason is that it is such uh, an opportunity moving forward, both when it comes to the well-known uh, business models and technologies, but also when it comes to the transformational part of our industry. As you know, the Volvo Group is one of the world uh, leading actors when it comes to uh, heavy transportation, commercial vehicles, uh, public transport, but also infrastructural development. That means that we are today present in more than 190 countries globally, where North America and then US is by far the largest market for us. We are today 14 different brands operating very independently, but utilizing the force of being part of a, of a big family. We are well invested in segments, in applications, in customer bases, uh, all around the globe, meaning that we can provide also the best type of innovation, thanks to the very close cooperation that we have with our different uh, customers. Uh, when we look into the new technologies, obviously they will start in very specific segments and applications where we are present. Construction, mining, porch, cross stocks, what have you. Uh, and, and then it will continue to spread uh, across all our different uh, segments and applications. You know, we are in a fantastic industry. I always say that when I'm out to universities, to people, and say, I mean, if you want to be in the coolest industry ever, come to us. And the reason is clear, obviously. I mean, we are into a very highly competitive landscape very professional customers, it is B2B, it is not sales figures, it's relations. So the performance part is continuing to be very important. We are investing into the greenhouse gas technologies, we are investing into safety, aerodynamics, uh, lead times, applications, everything like that. But we also are into a situation where the transformational part will be even more prominent moving forward. Having said that, what is important uh, to understand when it comes to transformation in our industry is that if you compare that, for example, with passenger cars, where a lot of the future investment is a burden, is a must, for us, this is a fantastic business opportunity together with the customers. We see the increased interest of green solutions, 
We see the increased interest of safety that people are getting paid for, the autonomous piece, uh, and we see, of course, uh, the increased demand of uptime and productivity. But if I start a little bit very briefly on, on um, uh, the performance piece, I have to say we are proud. And the blue line you see here is the development of the Volvo Group in relation to our peers, ma main peers in the industry, of the performance journey that we have done. And why is this important? And why is this important to show at a show like this? Because the future investments requires a solid company that can, now when we might go into a little bit of a correction, a more normalized market, actually can continue to pursue investments in innovation, in people, in customer relations over time, both when it comes to the performance part and when it comes to the transformance part. When it comes to transformation for the future, you see the big mega trends. No news for us, but having said that, uh, we see now how this is really coming into play. Electromobility, obviously, that has been part of the Volvo execution model since more than 10 years now, starting obviously with buses, hybrids and fully electric buses, but now then gradually moving into the, uh, to the truck part, where we are launching both in Europe and North America a number of models, but also obviously for construction equipment and for our marine segment with Volvo Penta. Automation is also coming now. We are putting our first commercial contract in place uh, during quarter four. That is a fully automated quarry uh, in Norway, where you have high salary levels. Uh, and uh, also very exciting times for the confined area automation. And gradually we will invest also then into uh, on-road application as we go along. And then connectivity is always the base for, for everything. More than one million connected machines and vehicles around the globe today. Enormous amount of data generated. And you know, not at least where we have the leading position in North America when it comes to the uptime services we are providing since many years and a constant innovation that we will see here uh, during the coming uh, uh, presentations also by Alison. Uh, so just to give a flavor of what has happened over the last 12 months only, here you see the rollouts of products around, across the globe when it comes to electromobility, when it comes to automation, and obviously everything is connected as we speak. Uh, you see the buses, you see Vera uh, up there for, for port solutions, you see for fire engines, you see for ferries, you see our fantastic uh, Mac LR, and you are seeing all this, and, and in the middle you also have the, uh, the reveal that we will talk about a little bit later in this presentation also when it comes to the lights project where Volvo was selected thanks to the competitive and innovative position for, for our trucks. So, by that, uh, North America is the focus for the rest of this presentation. We are proud that we have built a strong footprint position, strong regional value chain of all competences that we need to uh, that we need in order to be successful in North America, and by that, actually, I will leave the word to 